Right folks, welcome back to part 9 of a 10 episode series where a company called Sterling Insurance They have sponsored me and challenged me to buy a van Just a normal panel van and turn it into a camper van Sterling Insurance have uh, over 30 years experience I've been listening, I've been paying attention. Sterling Insurance have over 30 years of experience in this game. Uh, so if you are buying a camper van or converting a camper van, go and check them out because they do specialise in camper vans. Um, right, today my father is actually at work. So I've taken the next best thing, Junie baby. On my birthday. On Junie's birthday, uh, Junie will be helping me do the van. What we're going to do, folks, I'm just going to do little bits and bobs. Uh, I'm going the to bits put, that take time, isn't it? It's really? the bits to free, that, yeah. free your dad up. To it's to free me dad up. So we're going to do the back doors. I'm going to, we're going to, well, I'm going to let her fabric on. That way, when it goes wrong, it's her fault, not mine. In fact, I've started to challenge myself uh, to see if I can do as little as work for, as possible, <laughs> as possible well, on this. That just sums your bloody life up altogether. Yeah. Uh, so what me and Junior are going to do, we're going to um, fabric the back doors. We've still got the panel to do on the opening door there because me and my father ran out of time. Um, are we doing that or are you waiting Yeah, we're going to do that. What? We're going to do that. What, me and you or you and your dad? No, me and you. Oh my God. Yeah, we're going to do that. I want to get all the fabric in done. All right, okay. Uh, I'm going to get all the fabric in done. Can I Can I push me the last thing in? You want to... I don't want to lose it. Oh, it won't come in. I've got all the others in. She's got all the others in. Find the old. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Well done, sweetheart. Ooh. Let's have a round of applause there for Junie, baby. Yes, you're all clapping, aren't you? <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to get this sorted. We're going to. Um, Don't say crack. On. Crackety crack crack. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we'll be back to you in a. Right, folks, uh, what we have done now, we have bought a panel into the uh, kitchen. <laughs> and um, what we're going to do is we're going to try something different. June Juni has seen somebody do it on YouTube, uh, this thing called YouTube, and um, what they do is they cut the panel off, uh, they okay. take the panel off, they cut the material around the panel, fold it in, and then they screw it back through these holes. Yeah, because we've reused the panels. Yeah, because I'm, I'm reusing the panels. Don't forget, folks, it is a budget. You know, I'm trying to do this so that people like me and you can just go and, well, not just go and buy a van, but buy a van and do it. Yeah, without, without going stupid. Yeah, without going stupid, eh, June? Eh? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what do you reckon then, June? I think we need to leave a bit more excess than we think. Yeah. Um, give us a bit of something to play with and trim it off afterwards. So what's that? Do you reckon that's about two inch? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so, so we're going to mark round it. With a bit of chalk. With a bit of chalk, as my dad said in his video, he wanted a bit of chalk. Uh, uh, we'll trim that off afterwards, shall we? Or shall we? Yeah, we'll trim it off afterwards. I'll, no, we'll I'll, just... I'll, I'll do it. Okay, it's, that's yeah, it. it's on an angle, isn't it's it? It's on an angle. It's on a curt angle for all you wrestling fans out there. He broke his freaking neck. Uh, and still won a gold medal. So I'm a bit nervous about cocking it up, so... And you don't want to cock up, do you? No. Definitely not. Oh, that's me thigh. I nearly swore then. I think, uh, I think I'd have got away with that swear, to be fair, June, then, because... Uh, I know what you swear, they don't Yeah, count, they don't do count, do they? And what we're going to do is, shall we just cut that? At yeah, just and... cut that as a... I'll do. Um, so, I'm gonna come this way a bit. Yeah, uh, I think what we'll do, folks, is we'll we'll mark this up, start cutting, and then we'll uh, see you in a second. See you in that. So, folks, as you can see, I have cut round the. Uh, I have cut round as well. No, not June. Eh? Um, June's there making the tea. So what we're going to do now then folks is uh, glue it onto there and hopefully it will fold round the back um, and then I will put a screw through there into the holes that have already been pre-drilled into the van. Um, I just can't see the point in going by more hardboard, plywood, whatever it is, 
to Plot. stick on there. <laughs> ply board, ply wood, ply hardy board wood. Um, just to cover it, cover it up. I just can't see the point. So um, I don't know. Has anybody else bought a van out there and you reused the panels to save money? Well, Put your comments. I would imagine they're quite tricky to cut out because it's not just straight. Well, I think you can actually go onto the internet and buy a panel already cut oh, to right. that size. But I think they cost a small fortune. So balls to that. Ooh. Yeah, you got a clean nozzle June. The other way, that's it. Well on June. We've got a toadstool. Right, wait for it a bit longer, babe. Leave All it, just right. let it go a bit tackier. So, do need it a bit tackier, it's just stuck to my thumb. Well, it's not meant to stick to your thumb, is it? It's meant to stick to that plywood, hardboard, plywood, whatever it is. So, that's plywood, isn't it? That is right. What I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to turn this camera off because it's going to be a two person job, not a two man job, but a two person job. You should put it on your tripod, yeah. Well, uh, we have stuck it on now. Um, the only on other the front of the board on the front of the board, obviously. Uh, the only problem is doing it on grass, you get bits of uh, greenage. Um, That's going to be trimmed off, don't we? Right, do you want to start? Oh, you carry on, sweetheart. What should we do? Just one edge at a time? Yeah. Um, so now June is pleating her cut <laughs> uh, fablic. Flablic? What the bloody hell's a flablic? Now, from what I saw, you cut little triangles out of it, like that. So like that? Like that? Like that? I didn't know you've got all cockney on me, Jane. Yeah. Give me fucking... Oh, no, you won't be. So, uh, sorry, that was a accidental swear word. I'll chuck a beep in there. Um, you'll be going down the road clicking your heels. I will, won't I? Covering yourself in the pearls. Right, so... So what we're doing is we're cutting it now, getting it all ready, and then we will go round it again with some more glue. Ooh, on the edge of the board to make it sure it sticks. She's got dirty knees. <laughs> Don't show me horrible old knees. Your knees ain't like mine. My knees are scarred up. Look at this. Ah, see that scar there? Oh, God. Are you going on about your broken bloody leg again? Yeah. With a broken bloody record. You'll get broken in a minute. <laughs> now, I'm not really sure what to do with you. But it's all a, a learning curve. It is a bloody curve, and all right, we'll chop that bit off. I guess, and then what the idea is, we'll go around and trim it with a Stanley blade. Yeah, I've got a craft knife, I've got a couple of Stanley blades. Um, so, what we're going to do, I'm gonna, we're just going to do this, folks, and then we'll come back and show you a bit more. Right, so what's happened is June has trimmed up all around the edge. Um, don't forget to that kind of good shaking the seats. Yeah, okay. Now I've just got little triangles in to help us round the edges. So I might need to do a bit more. We'll now, see. if you don't press it all the way down, you get like a little spurt coming out. So just, that's it. See what I mean? Well, I bugger that. Bugger that? I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, do it, just do right, that bit. Do it on it? the fabric as well, because that right, might have again. just... Yeah, that's it. It's all right, folks. We are looking to buy a new kitchen table. Ain't we? All right, just going to have a quick sup of tea. That's my mum's mugged that. Well, she won't want it where she is. No. Right, go on then, Junie, baby. For do you want me to lift it up a little bit? Oh, you're just going over off. the edge. And then what you do, apparently, is you just use your heel of your hand to curve it from underneath. And same on the corners. And because you've cut them snips out, just gives you a bit of room to 
work it round the corner. We need a bit more off that. Can you pass me the scissors? I want to oh, find they're over there. How do they get over there? The furthest point in the kitchen. There you go, sweetheart. Seems such a good idea for an extension on the kitchen, but you end up walking miles, don't you? So, I think I'll cut another bit off there. A bit like wrapping a parcel, so when we come round there, do you want me to do that bit as well? Yeah, do that bit and then... I'll do. So just do that uh, little bit there. Do you need to fold round this bit? I you, will. You did will. glue that, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. So, I need a bit more there. Right, I've got to go and let that dog out. So, uh, we'll uh, do oh, this. No, he's all right, he's only jumping at the window. That's a very good cut there you got, June. Mm. Stretcher. It is good stuff. Um, Very forgiving. What's up with you, Twoodle? Yeah, that will do then. Okay, so we'll uh, do, we'll do the last two sides, and then uh, we'll come back and see you in a second. In that. And there's the finished uh, product, folks. Um, I'm quite impressed with that, Junie. What about you? It's yeah. easier than it looks actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because it's so forgiving. Yeah, it is forgiving. So what we will do now is I'm going to offer that up to... I'm going to find the hole. Fill around here for the hole. Uh, Pocahontas. Um, there's a hole. No doubt my dad will be saying, Oh, David, what are you doing like that for? In his best Vera Duckworth voice. Um, was it Vera Duckworth? Mavis. Don't watch Corrie anymore, no, it's we're crap. Not as confident as you that though, no. I don't think we could do as good a job as that. So what you do is you look and find the hole and then I'm just gonna put the screw through it. Also, the other reason why I've done it like this is because if I need to change uh, the bulbs or something on the back of the van doors, it's you know it's there in it. Oh, so. You are June, aren't you? Yeah, I am, yeah. Well done, sweetheart. Right, I'm gonna go and put it on the door. So, folks, um, what is happening now is that um, we've offered it up. I don't think that looks too bad. What do I you think, think I June? I think it's good. I think, for the job there, it looks so good, I deserve a kiss. Lovely. Oh, I did it. They don't need to know that. Oh. Do they? <laughs> so, I'll put a couple of screws in to offer it up, folks, to hold it up. And uh, we're happy with that, aren't we, June? Yeah, I am. I don't think we could have done any better than that. No. Um, and the screws aren't visible, really, unless you're looking for them. Um, yeah, because it kind of buries in the fabric, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just quite happy with that. So, uh, what do you reckon, June? I'm happy with it. If June's happy with it, then it must be good. So... Yeah, we just need to trim some of this tape off. Yeah, there. trim some of the tape off and uh, we'll go from there. Mind you, when the doors are shut, you won't see it, sweetheart, will you? Oh, no, it's there. God. Uh, June will know it's there, so obviously we've got to trim some of that tape off. Uh, right, we're going to get on with this and do the other panels and uh, we'll see you back later on. Are you sitting up there? I know. On a little perch? I know. Unbelievable. Bubble. Rate my injury. Look at that look. Slightest of cuts. Unbelievable. Um, I was looking for the hole up there and put my finger up and dragged it down a piece of metal. Not the brightest of things to do, but uh, yeah, because what I did, folks, I took that off. I took that off. I realised I hadn't put any uh, insulation behind it. Took it off. And that's what happens. Cut finger. <sighs> Unbelievable. Hello, 
How are you? <laughs> uh, so, me and June Junior have done the van, the back doors. Uh, I've done your back doors in, innit? I think I did your back doors in. Um, because we've used the old panels, um, there is a line. It's the way it is. It, I'm not bothered. It is what it is. Uh, we'll just show them, then. Yeah. Just where the join is, look, because it was two separate boards, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, if you so, go back to episode one, uh, you will see that um, it is two boards. So, uh, yeah, but I think it's all right. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. If, we'd, if we'd have done it again, this one's not so good, is it? No. But I wonder if we could take it off and plane that. We'll have a look. We'll, we'll see. Well, yeah, we can't plane it off because we've stuck it. All oh, right. Well, yeah. We'll whatever see. we'll see whatever i'm not too fussed it's done it's done when you think about it the doors will be shut the mattresses are going to be a good eight inches high so you're not going to see it by the time you've got the covers on uh, the cushions on i was going to try and do this as a shower thing we've changed her mind yeah i said that we've changed her mind <laughs> june's changed his mind june's changed my mind and oh, i'm not uh, showering outside yeah you'd be peeping i would be peeping i peep yeah. anyway and um that's what you do though isn't it well we do we, we do don't we? i don't know if anybody else does it me and uh, me and june are still like silly bloody teenagers um you'll be like a teenager if you break that bed june because it's not fixed uh so yeah this is the back doors uh we're going to take the dogs a walk and uh we might have a go at cleaning the front seat yeah because uh, yeah because june's got a new uh upholstery cleaner and um we might have a go on that so if not i'll uh the next time i'll see you guys is when i'm dropping this off at the electricians but we will see okay laters right folks we're back here at mad vans and uh adam here and mark and tony yeah they were working late last night to get this done uh what time do you finish mate after, oh, I only managed to have two beers, so oh. about a quarter past 11 in the end. Oh dear. <laughs> oh God, I feel really bad about it. No, um, it's absolutely fine. Right, so if you've got a camper van in mind, get hold of Mad Vans in Salbe, um, get in touch with them, and they'll, they're on Facebook. Are you on the internet yet? Or? We, don't, we, we can't cope with the demand on the internet, so we pulled our website, yeah. unfortunately, because there's but, only three of us. But uh, you're looking to grow an investment and everything, ain't you? Here we are, yeah. So, anyway... Um, what you done, mate? So basically, we've done your electrics. Yeah. It's nice and safe, and it's going to give you some power. Yeah. And uh, a future, if you go get a heater, we're going to get your heating. Yeah. All at a campsite, all off grid. Yes, yeah, so entirely. All, yeah. Well, we're not on about on going off grid because this uh, government are trying to pack that in, isn't they? But uh, yeah. <laughs> bastards uh so what you done then so basically yeah we've, we've put power to whatever you wanted so you've got your fridge yeah so we've, we've put the fridge in there and we've got a we've got a 12 volt feed that's going into the fridge and that's running off your leisure battery at the back brilliant to switch the fridge off there's an on off switch at the top there okay that's your fridge off so it's not drawing any power good stuff get to a campsite when you plug in to 240 volt underneath just behind the passenger seat there's a little switch there it is, little switch. Click that switch, 240. So you'll have a pleasure back. So that will be on 12 volts while we're driving. Yeah, if you want and it then, on, yeah. then, And then when we get to the place, I just turn that switch and it That's goes it. to 240. We'll switch over. And we use the electricity from the campsite. Exactly, yeah. Perfect. Beers will be cold. Happy days. So what else have we got, mate? Okay, so we're off the 240 as well. We've got a twin socket there. Yeah. Uh, we've got a twin socket up the top there. Yeah, that's where we're gonna... Uh, yeah, so it's all, it's all wired in, but again, you know, you know how to wire a plug. Just yes, un I can it. actually do that. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. wired a doorbell once and got an electric shot. Well, that it? hurt. Yeah. That worked very well. Was nice. anyone at the door? No. Oh, well. There were me at the back of the hall where it had sent me flying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we put another double, double box in down there for you. Yeah. Um, and then you see the white blanking up the top there? So that's basically the connection for all your LED lights at yes. the top. If you want to replace them, there's an access panel there. Yeah. So you just draw the cable, pull it back through. Yeah. So he's taking the whole roof down. Okay. Nice, simple and easy. Okay, good stuff. We've also got power to the tap. Yeah. Uh, you've got a submersible pump at the bottom there that goes into your little water, water tubs. And uh, yeah, that will draw up the water. Okay. So I've ordered myself two bottles, um, two 25 litre bottles. One will be for the clear water, the fresh water, yeah, and, one the and the one for the waste. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's fine. 
Um, the other 12 volt system that we've got in here, if you can pop around to see there, we've put these in. They're fairly common on these sort of builds. That isn't finished. Don't think that's wobbling around like <laughs> whatever, it's finished, it's not. Yeah, this is all it's all loose fit for you to take off to yes. do your final finish and put yeah. back. Um, so this is isolates this little unit here. You've got cigarette lights at 12 volt. Yeah. Um, in there, you've got 11.4 volts, that's your current voltage. Okay. Your leisure battery. Yeah. And then you got two USBs. Oh two. yeah, there they are. Two USBs, I didn't see them. There ah. you go. Happy days. And again, you know, at night time, you just switch that off. Yes. And it's uh, it's nice and dark. Brilliant. Get you sleep. Oh, should we get to the back of the van? Yeah. Okay, the back of the van, all your 12 volt system, you can see, is all tucked away in that little Righto. nest of wires there. Good stuff. Um, that will get boarded up, and on the back there, we'll label up each individual fuse. Yeah. If you do have a fuse that blows, it will light up on that board. That so if I if that yeah so for instance just say your lights blow yeah you all ah, right your little up. that's it. So you take your four screws out straight away. You know the problem. Yeah, it's your lights. Brilliant. Um, right, so that's the kind so of the, the it is bottom. idiot proof, but yeah. I'm a bigger than an idiot than a normal one. So yeah, but you know our phone number. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> so speed dial. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've tried to make everything nice and simple and easy. Um, and this leisure battery here is a it's, it's basically the top grade leisure battery. Yeah. A lot of people have problems with their batteries, and it's because they don't spend enough money on it. Yeah. It's three different categories really. Yeah. A, B, and C. You need the A. Yeah. Um, and that will charge when you drive yeah. along, and then they'll charge with the other bit of kit that we're yeah. going to talk about. In I a think second. you said something to me last time I came that somebody um, kept having problems with the battery, and they'd used a normal car battery. Yeah. So some guy it was a mate of mine actually. Uh, six years. He's had this camper van and uh, he'd had solar panels fitted. He had no end of problems. He spent, you know, close to about a thousand pounds trying to get this problem yeah. fixed. He, he came to us, did a little bit of fault finding. It was because basically he had a car battery. Right. The guys, the other converters, had put a car battery in there, and it's not so, a deep cycle battery. So it's it gives you power to yeah to start your engine and then it tops up straight away. Right. Deep cycles. They're designed to run flat. Yeah. See, this is this is what I'm saying about you guys, though. Into it's the fact that you um, know what you're doing. Where another person who could be just think, oh, I'll convert a camper van, they might not, and they're the, just yeah, buying They might not appreciate, yeah, some people, they yeah. literally just want to plug in a cool box and go camping. Yeah, that's, that's fine, it. absolutely fine. But if you want to have no hassle and have everything as a luxury. I don't want June moaning at me. No. Well, we've made it June-proof. Mm. <laughs> June-proof. Yeah. Uh, so what's this big red knob? Okay, that is your isolator. So if you do have any problems at all, yeah. basically, Turn it off, and that's your battery. That's, it. that's all the electrics disconnected. Uh, you can work on them. Yeah, do what you need to. That's um, like signing off at work, isn't it? When you it. take a plant to bits, exactly. And then you don't sign it off, and then the health and safety bloke comes after you, and uh, yeah, you get done. So, that okay? That's not in its final position. No, we've left enough cable on there, so you can put it where you want. As long as yes. it's accessible. Yeah. So you want to open your door, get straight. Yeah, because we're actually going to put like a panel. We're going to have a fixed panel here that you can undo with four screws. Yeah. I want a door here that we can just lift up. Yep. and get to whatever and then another lift up panel here so we'll see yeah that's fine your, your battery's all bolted down into your chassis through the box through the straps it's going nowhere okay underneath your driver's seat so your two batteries for your yeah. vehicle what we've done is put a split charge relay in there right so when you start the engine you'll hear a click behind you that's the relay firing up yeah it goes through a fuse back through another fuse mm. sends the power all the way to this leisure battery uh it'll have a little think what it needs to do how much power then it starts to charge. Brilliant. And what you will notice when you do start the engine is your voltmeter will go. It will, it will start automatically to go, go up. up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to be careful with volts. It doesn't reflect how much power the battery's got because that's ampage, but it does give you a good indication of when it is charging. I hope you people are listening to this, taking it all in, because I'm going to be watching this again later, so I know. <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> you did not. Yeah. I will. If I've got any problems, I'm just going to watch this video. Yeah. So, and the last bit of kit, which unfortunately the delivery drivers are having to isolate, so we're behind on our deliveries. Yeah, um, we've got you, we've built you a smart box basically. So, when you plug into a campsite, your 240, we're gonna have a little unit that's gonna sit here, yeah, uh, and it'll do some magic basically, yeah, and, and invert all that power into 12 volts, so it's yeah, gonna charge your leisure battery. Brilliant, so you don't need to worry about your engine running to charge it, plug in at campsite, and yeah, it'll do it. Everything's it is idiot proof the way that we've wired yeah. everything the boxes smart boxes that we've created and put in 
you can't. Well, it doesn't matter whether you win it on 12 volt or 240. Yeah. It will switch over to the power to do what you want to it to what do. It needs yeah. To do. Yeah. So you're saving yourself money, and well, you're saving yourself ampage and battery uh, yeah. power and everything. This is it. You know, these batteries are designed to do so many cycles and yeah. recharge before they're absolutely ruined and need re yeah. reconditioning. Um, so we're going to help protect that by yeah. keeping it topped up and it will draw the power. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, so you've also put me a plug under there so I can go on the, the uh, yeah. campsites. Uh... Yeah, so all you do is it's like a Euro socket, some people call them, it's the, it's the three pin, yeah. uh, outdoor rated. It's tucked right up into your chassis, yeah. it's got a cover on it so it's not going to get dirty. That's all right, and I'm not going to ground it or anything. <laughs> no, you're not, no. Um, just got to remember obviously to disconnect that when you're... Uh, <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh gee. Yeah, well or not. Yeah. So. So that's it, that's that's all the electrics. It was around about 10 hours worth yeah. um, for, for two of us. Yeah. It was three at one point. Um, but yeah, it's to do it properly, it takes time. Yeah. Um, all heat rated cables. So, uh, yeah, you, you will see, this go. is it. You, you've got to have the proper, proper kit, the proper knowledge, I think, ain't you? You see some of these people on YouTube and they just make it look so simple and easy. And it's not, is it? No, you've got to do your research, you've got to get the correct rated cables, you know, heat proofed, um, run them in the right direction, isolate them, put your fuses in the right yeah. place, and then of course, test it all. Exactly. So, yeah. right mate, I appreciate that. No doubt I'll be back for you to finish your little bits and bobs on. I just want to get this video done so we can... Uh, of course, we'll retrofit that out. afterwards. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's half hour work. Brilliant. Right mate, thank you very much, I appreciate yeah. it. So okay. there you go folks, if you are thinking of doing this, get hold of Mad Vans. Uh, you'll find them on Facebook, spelt with a Z. <laughs> Alright, see you in a second. You ready? Yeah. Right, folks, back with Papa. Um, apparently it was all Kogan's birthday yesterday, Dad. I didn't know that. And when's yours? Sunday. There you go, you see. So there must be some kind of connection. <laughs> some freaky kind of connection. Yeah, uh, Sunday. <laughs> unbelievable. 15. Have Everybody was on the 15th. That was when uh, you, we were the last one, hopefully, we're going out. Um, everybody going on Twitter, happy birthday, wish your dad happy birthday. Went, dad, do they know it's his birthday? <laughs> and then I realised, Hulk Hogan's birthday. Uh, right, what we're doing now then, we're entering the back straight. Um, we've got cupboards to put up. Uh, we've got to. So, what it is then, folks? We've got a cupboard of one I made earlier. Yeah. While I was eating those crunchy ribs, uh, that shape, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While I was eating those crunchy ribs, my dad were making this yesterday, um, and that is where that's going. We've left it. We've left it not short, um, but obviously, if we're going to put something up here, we want to put a. So you can get to your socket there. That's well. What it's so you can get a socket up there, but we're on about making this uh, a drop down t uh, thing, ain't we? Yeah. And if that went right up to there, it wouldn't drop down. Would it, it wouldn't drop down. So there was um, some method in the madness, folks. Uh, do you want to have a look up there? Look at that. There's a little bit of space up there. A bit of space, just for... A few tea bags and a yeah, few blankets. And yeah, and that's it. And then we've got the storage under here, and then obviously we're going to have all the storage under there as well. Um, so we're going to get on with this, isn't we, Dad? Uh, put that shelf up. Uh, we're going to work out something there as well. Uh, we're also going to work out something to do about the cover in here. We're going to... What we're going to do here, Dad, do you think? There's this bit of ply here. Oh. That ain't big enough, but uh, we're going to put uh, lots of panels in there. It'll fit in there and in there, and then we're going to have the old rabbit hutch uh, yeah. turn screw to stop it from falling out. And then when you want to take it out, you well, see when we're well, we'll see. It's, it's, the it's the idea. Obviously, this is going to be this side will be fixed in. We've got to move that. Uh, Adam at Madvan says we can move that and put it where we need it to go. It's the isolation isolation switch, uh, so that'll stay like that. That'll be storage under there, and, and we'll try and there. do some storage under there. The Twoodle will have his little basket down there, so he can sleep under my bed. Um, but that's it, really, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, we're we'll so, we'll be there now. Yeah, so we're in the home straight, as you say. Yeah, so we'll get on with this, and we'll see you all in a second. Look at that, June. It's a bit better. It is better. I'm going to empty the tank. 
Look at the great. state of that lot. It's gone into it down the So, the June June he's done the roof. Ceiling. Seat. Roof is the ceiling in my book. Um, seats. Look at that. Lovely job, June. We'll get you a job as a uh, car valitor. Hold on, man. Here we have. Oh, look at it. Mud in the bottom. Mud. Yeah, but you've done a good job there, sweetheart, ain't you? I don't love that. Right, folks, here's me in my hat looking rather dapper. Um, what's happening is today, yesterday was a bit of a wipeout um, because by the time I got the van back, and that's no criticism to Mad Vans at all, but by the time I got the van back uh, and we started stuff, hey dad, it was... It was getting well on. It you? was getting on and um, we needed materials, didn't we? We needed supplies. So, uh, what happened is, my dad stopped here where he lives and made this. I went off and got this kind of thing. Um, as you've seen from the video, me and June did a bit of fabricing on there, and uh, I bought some screw holes. I didn't buy any screw holes, I bought some screw caps. Um, but uh, let me just put you down so I can see you. Um, but they were basically crap, they were just too small. So I've been being here, I've got some more, so that's going to cover these. Um, got this piece of wood because we're going to cover this uh, we're going to put the cupboard up we're going to put that door up this here that um, me and June uh, fabric yesterday all right father so what we've done here then dad I'm going to put this uh, piano range on here where they're all on temporary there yeah we're going to put the piano range on there in there and then we're going to put that to the back of that uh, plywood yeah and it should all open out hopefully all open down at the same time yeah and june june he says she's going to paint it so we've got the paint we're going to sorted that out what so, kind of paint paint uh i think we've gone for a yellowy mustardy kind of thing we've ordered some uh bed linen from dunelm uh, that never turns up on time does it we've, we've bought some dunelm stuff from dunelm right but it's coming in about four different packages is it? Yeah, it's coming on different days, four packages. It's just a complete joke. Why can't they just send it all in one? Well, they probably will if you ask them. Well, we did. <laughs> but they kept saying, you, you can't do this and you can't do that. So, whatever. Right, we're going to get on with this, folks. So, folks, the, at the moment in time, uh, which in your book or your place of time is a fortnight to go for us, isn't it, Dad? It is. Yeah. Um, we're fitting the boards at the back uh this is just to tidy it all up um where the battery's gone, that's there. where the battery's gone we've had to cut a hole there uh so we can to feed, feed the wires through. through now yes right you're all going to be saying no oh, why don't you cut a hole and undo the bolts up i'll tell you why we didn't do it because we're bloody scared to take them off and get it wrong yeah right? while they're connected like that they're i know right. that's how they were when i picked them up from mad vans and everything's okay so what we've done we've um we've cut a slice out there put a slice in there so we can get that in and, and uh, fix that in yeah we don't want to disturb the yeah. electrics we don't do want we? it to disturb the electrics i don't want to screw it up and that's the way it is so well, you've you got to screw it up now because you've got to screw that up well now. yeah we have well done dad see where i get my humor from folks <laughs> um <laughs> Well, that's how it is. We're going to now put another... Let this, this is where the mattress will come here, somewhere yeah. here. Yeah, so that's like a so that's... bit of a headboard. Not a lot <laughs> of a headboard, but it's a bit of a headboard. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to be the opening one. I think I've said all this to you before, and we're going to fix that one too. But uh, happy days, eh, Dad? Yeah. A bit slow progress today. It is. Though, it's it? one of them days where you're going, like, one step forward and about three backwards. It's just back and forwards back and forwards and well we've got it to fit now yeah so it's all done so uh yeah there we go so these are the finishing touches hey eh, dad yeah it's plain to see isn't it this is yeah plain to see so yeah plain to see yeah 
<laughs> I told you on the plane today, didn't I? Uh. You thought I'd go in Zante. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Right, folks, a quick question for you. Why would anybody want to go potholing? Because we're just cutting this bit of wood, aren't we, Dad? Yeah, well, we're trying to. And yeah, we're, trying to it, right? we're trying to mark it. And I've been under here and I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> We well, yeah, we nearly had to dismantle the bed to get me out. <laughs> so, wh why do people go potholing? I just I don't understand the fun of getting in a hole that's like too small and you can't get out and the water's rushing in. I was in complete dryness there. It just I, I, could somebody put it in the comments below? Why do people go potholing? And don't give me that answer because we want to, because we like the challenge. No, doing a bloody camper van's a challenge. You ain't got to go down a bloody great hole. Well, it ain't a great hole, it's just... A... You just yeah, may as well... At least you didn't get flooded, did it? No, you may as well just shove your head down the toilet and try and climb down the U-bend, because that's what <laughs> potholing is. It is basically climbing down a U-bend. Rant over. And there it is. Um... What we're going to do, Dad, we're going to put a couple of quick release catches here. Yeah. Uh, one here, one there. So the middle bit will come out, but just for now, we've got it in. And uh, we're cracking on with some adults. Yeah, we're going to oh, start. I shouldn't have said that. No, I shouldn't really, should you? <laughs> well, that's what it's going to be. Uh, then me and June are going to paint it pink or something. Ladies' pink. Yeah. Right, on we go, Dad. We could paint it pink one side and blue the other. We so could, yeah, yeah. We're down the middle, so something like that, yeah. So you know which which uh, bed's yours and which is Jenny's. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that done. Let's get on with the bloody cupboard now. Right. Now then, folks, this is a bit of a top tip, isn't it, Dad? Well, it could be. Yeah. We did this before. We wanted to know something about what what we'd, we'd done before, Dad, and we didn't know. And you went, "Why don't we look at the video?" What was it? Anyway. It, remember, it was something else and we're fixing the bed down right with my dad's screwed into there and that's it we're now fixing june's side and i said to my dad oh, shit i didn't i hadn't but i went shit where's the wires because we can't see the wires so we've done the same again we've pulled it up i hope i don't copyright myself here but we've Look at the video of where the wires the are, went. and we're back. We're there. We know where they are. The so, wires come along here, don't they? Yeah. Here, same height as the window. Yeah. So there's another quick tip for you folks. If you are doing a camper van and you don't just want to watch us pair of monkeys do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit windy, folks. Um, why don't you video it as you go along so that you know where to go to when referencing something that you don't know, eh, hey, Dad? Yeah, you got a back reference, haven't you? You have. Just video as, as you go along. Or even a front reference. Yeah, front reference, back reference, up your reference. Or a side reference. Yeah, and it just helps you. So just do your own little video, your own little blog, vlog, whatever it is, and if you do get a bit confused, it's there. So Or, or even confused. Yeah. So, top's tip. Oh, crack on. <laughs> crack on. Right. Another top tip here. I've surprised you and I, Dad, with this. You have. You've even thought of this yeah. one. Right. Uh, when you're sticking the bar... Uh, not the bar magnet. That's what I used to use on P1 and R1 at work. Um, we want to find out where that needs to go in relation to the door. And to, when you close it, that engages so it, the magnet works. Yeah. So... You tell them what you're doing, Dave. Because well, we've got these super duper sharpy thingy Stanley pens. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so we coloured that in. Colour the uh... magnets. Yeah, the magnets in. And then we shut, shut the, door, the door. Press down. Press down. Count to three. And hey, presto! It's got the marks on there. Look. I don't know whether I can see that. Is there? Yeah, they're there. Look. Yeah. There. There. There and there, look, that one's not so big, but... That, but you know where they are. But you know where they are. So, so what we're doing now is screw that. That's a damn good idea, that is. I didn't know you got that in you. 
Right, folks, we're coming to the end of uh, today. Not of this video, because uh, me and Junior might do a bit of painting. I'm going to do a bit of other stuff as well. Uh, what we have done today is we've put like the board at the back, so we've got like a headboard uh, where the mattress will go up to. Uh, my dad's fixed the bed, haven't you, Dad? That ain't oh, going. Well, well that, that ain't going nowhere. Well, in part, we're going. I thought you said you were going out in it. <laughs> well. What I'm saying is, it'll take some rocking <laughs> uh, to dislodge it. It will, uh, won't it? Look, it's, look. Yeah, that's well fixed down, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, you've got a bit of an headboard at the back. Yeah. It? So <laughs> I've got. To, I'm going to do something with that middle panel there, so we can make it a quick release if we need to use it as a storage place. And we have got the cupboard up. A cupboard up. So uh, I think Junior might be painting that. Uh, this weekend with the magnet catch, it you catch. got the magnet catch, yeah, with it. Uh, thing. Uh, so that's it for this week. Um, on here, um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do stuff at home, and uh, then hopefully next week. I've just been in touch with Madvans, they are then going to put all the gas and everything there. They're going to drill the floor because you have to have a gas escape, um, if something goes wrong. We didn't put sliding doors on here for a technical reason, did we? Yeah. Yeah, the technical reason was that it would have been about uh, two inches wide inside by the time. Because the way my dad's done these doors, to have put that inside a cupboard that's only six, six seven inches, inches, wide, it, it, seven inches yeah, you'd have only had about two inches of space. So that's why we've not so done we that. Mind, but once again, it's like I said, that the work in progress. You do, you make an idea, you have an idea, you make a plan, and we've used piano hinge all the way along there. Yeah, that's a piano hinge. So that it's, uh, well, it's got all the screws and everything, it's easy to yeah, fix. It is, it, it holds it all in place, you're not fighting against anything. But it is one of those situations, again, where you have an idea and sometimes you have to adapt and change it to uh, suit. Because you see the foolishness of your ways, don't you? You do. Um, so, oh, let's flip you back up. Hello. Uh, so, we're going to knock this on the head, it's Friday afternoon, I've got to go and record a piece in a podcast uh, with Chris and Adek. So... We'll see you in a second. Me and June have come to B&Q and we're thinking, would this fit in the van? <laughs> or would this one? Would this fit in the van? I don't know. I want this one. You want that one? Yeah. You want that one because it doesn't show your farts off, doesn't it? No, I like this one. Mm. We like hot stuff, don't we? Yeah. Right, folks, it's Saturday afternoon. Na 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 na. Thank you, Junie. As you can see, my Junie is doing her best impression of Jacko from Brushstrokes. A lot of you people out there might not know who the hell Jacko is. Who was Jacko? He was a painter and decorator. He was a painter and decorator. Um, this is the colour we have gone for. The sound of summer. People mowing their lawns. Or the kiwi. Or the kiwi mowing his lawn. Um, we've gone for this yellow mustardy whatever colour. We thought it would bring a bit of colour, uh, a bit of brightness to the van, didn't we, sweetheart? Yes. Um, it is a special paint as such. There's the twoodle. Um, it is Valspar. Sounds like a Star Wars character for Scott. Uh, furniture paint, dead flat matte. Yeah, it doesn't um, need any primer, which it, is one of the reasons we've gone for it. Isn't yeah, it? it doesn't need. Oh, I'm just going to wipe my lens. I've got a dirty lens. Sorry, folks. Um, oh, come on, I think that paint's made it. Can't focus. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't need a primer. Um, oh, it's coat. undercoat. It's it's just what it is. So we got that from B and Q. How much was it, Junie baby? Oh, twenty something quid, wasn't it? Twenty pound for two point. What is it? 20, 20 odd quid, well, I can't remember. Yeah, whatever. There it is. Uh, so I am now going to go outside and start arsing about. Um, I'm going to put the caps on the doors. I'm going to then try and do some other stuff in here. Um, that I'll to Let me turn my uh, electrics off. There we go, my electrics are off. Um, and then I'll show you a bit more about that in a bit. Um, yeah, we're just going to crack on. Oh, I said crack on. 
So here we have the June June uh, painting. There we have next doors. Trimming the bush. Um, you are quite a good painter, aren't you, June? You have been complimented on your painting skills. I have, yeah. Yeah, you're a bit of a DIYer, aren't you? How many painting? Um, <laughs> How many paintings have you done? <laughs> How many paintings? Uh, well, I used to do all my mother's decorating. Yeah. Uh, I've done quite a bit of upcycling, have I? Well, I'm pretty crap at... Uh... What do you think of this paint, June? Is it, um, um, is it a bit runny? I don't runny? like it. I don't like it. No. It's a bit too runny, but I'll see. Yeah. I'm useless at painting. There is no... Personally, if this had been me, I'd have got somebody to come in and paint it because I just splosh it about and uh, I would have used a phrase from a 1970s, 80s sitcom painter who um, is no longer allowed to do things. I think he painted the Queen, if that gives you a clue. Um, Was so he yeah, Australian? He was, oh. yes. I know what you mean. He had a kangaroo that he tried and to do. Yeah, and he tried to tie it down. Um, so, how many coats do you think this will need? Do you think uh, it's going to be cold? Will it need it another says, coat? Yeah, it's, oh God, yeah, it will need perhaps, certainly two, possibly yeah. three. So, all right, I'm going to let Junie crack on with this. I'm going to do these um, screw caps and other stuff. So, there is coat number one, eh, hey, June? Yeah. Um, and done around the sides there. The doors are in the kitchen there drying. Uh, anything to say on the matter, June? No. The if paint. You do this, paint it before you finish yeah. it in. The paint has got a hell of a pigment in it. It's um. It's uh, well. What can you say though? It. it it covers really well because that's the first coat and basically it's a, a primer into yeah. it. Yeah. So it does cover really well, um, but there is a lot of pigment in it. Yeah. So if you get it anywhere. It's like when you make white in it and they use blue. I don't know. Well, when we made the cable in at work and we used to make the white, we used blue because, well, didn't you say that's what happens in Daz as well? It's so powerful. It's little flecks of blue. Yeah, it to makes, make it, it white. white yeah. I don't know how that works. Yellowy white yeah. Into bright white, isn't it? Yeah, so if you do it yourself, make sure you paint it before you put it in. Yeah, paint right. it, then it's put awkward. it in. It's awkward, it's hard work. June's been upside down, she's had her heads through her legs so she can see what she's doing. I didn't know how she could pull them shapes. <laughs> but there, so, right. So it's Sunday morning, isn't it? <laughs> June. Um, it was either have some fun in the bedroom or come and get this done and get it out of the way. What did we choose, June? I chose to run out to the van June. before you even got up. <laughs> June absolutely sprinted out. Um, it needs to be done, folks. Uh, June's gave it a couple more coats on the on paint. the uh, paintwork. It's just painfully slow at the moment, isn't it? It's just... Yeah. <sighs> we're flagging now. Eh? Yeah, we're flagging. We want it done. Don't get me wrong, right? We're we're appreciated of everything of this, but it's because it's we've not done this before, or it, the idea is people just to be ready. Because I think as well, if you can take your time, it's a very satisfying yeah. project. But because we're kind of on a a schedule, we've got to get it done. Yeah, we? and it's it's kind it's kind of took the fun out of it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but we're on the last leg now. Yeah, it's it's the, it's the things like I was waiting on the electrics, you know, and we're, we're still waiting on a bit we're more. We're still really. waiting on a bit more. I've got to take it around my advance tomorrow. They're going to finish off the gas work and drill the hole in the floor for the vent. We're waiting on the mattresses. Um, we don't seem to be getting anywhere yeah, faster. Yeah, it's really, like we're just it? treading water and we're just not making anything. It's just re-going over the same steps all the while uh so hopefully this will be the last video for this week episode nine then episode 10 i'm i'm hoping i've, I've 
the the mattresses should be here this week we've got all the linen we've got all that we're gonna just then get some uh, plates and that to I mean we only need two plates because this is only going to be for two people this is in it so yeah yeah we'll, we'll we'll get all that that can we just need to crack on and get it I've, you've got me saying it now that could have hit my eye health and safety you your eye out I don't have my eye out um, all right folks we'll see you in a minute Okie dokie folks, it's still Sunday afternoon, um, it's dragging, the day's dragging, um, we've got the back fabricated, um, this has got to come out tomorrow for the lads to put the battery and stuff in there, um, we've made a little uh, compartment so it's easier to get in the back to uh, get to the storage also if I need to change a fuse or whoever's got this I've lent this out to needs to they can just crew them in and just get under there and do the fuse box up there uh, yeah it's um, still work in progress we've got the curtains up there I'm just putting that up on the uh, sliding door what I will say Oh, oh, bloody knees getting in and out of this van. Right, when you're drilling, be careful because the drill just, it's hard. You've got to have a good quality drill. Don't think you can just use something from Wilkinson's. Uh, and also make sure you cut them to the length. We're putting ours up here to abar uh, hide the abomination I did of these windows. Um, hopefully that'll hide it a bit more um it's just one of those things it's once again it's what I've, I've said this i'm beginning to bore myself so i must be boring you people it's just learning as you go along these tutorials on the youtube thing they just make it look easy <coughs> excuse me i've just had some fizzy pop um and it's not easy so there's the curtains there they're in cupboards in uh, right, my battery's flashing, so I'm going to get this done and then I'll show you a bit more and that should be the end of video nine. And it's Monday morning, folks, and I've just edited the video for you to watch today and I forgot I didn't do the last segment of uh, yesterday. Um, as you can see, it's raining here on Monday morning. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Me and June are happy. The, uh, the painting's done. I'm getting wet. Uh, I've got to go over to Mad Vans in about 10 minutes and I've put the curtain rails up. We haven't put the curtains up yet and the, the, I hope you like this idea. There you go, see, did that all on my own. I did. We had my dad, see, I can do things on my own, we had my dad. Uh, I'm going to shut the back doors because it's getting wet. Uh, we're thinking of actually, we were going to put that mosaic in tile stuff on here. But we are going to um, see if I can put fabric on as well. And um, I'm probably going to cut straight down here. That piece of board is going on the top of here. So it'll be like a shelf for a cup or whatever. Um, and then I'm going to put another piece down here, down the, the side there to make that all into one. And yeah, got to get rid of all this crap out the bottom. Um, do something with that. We've got the glue down there. We've got the Dremel. And um, it, it's just yeah we're nearly there you can almost taste that we're nearly there we're nearly done i've got to sort that out i've bought the dremel for the trimming that round yeah we're just looking good it's all nearly there and it's it's just that oh, i've got a hair in my mouth yeah um it's it's just the little touches now when me and my dad used to fit the double glazing it's the little touches that count so hopefully get this all done and Next week will be the last one you'll see, folks. Laters.